Today in the news, we got another useless update in the GPU market and vertical tabs. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia. It looks like the company is about to once again release a pretty useless graphics card. About two weeks ago, some EEC filings were filed from ASUS for an update on the RTX 2060 with eight gigabytes of GDDR6. While this specific update might be an actual upgrade, the newest one seems very much useless or at least very confusing. So in the lower end, there's the 1650 and 1650 Super, both with four gigabytes of VRAM, but the Super version has GDDR6 memory and 384 more CUDA cores. With these two already, there's a bit of a problem. They mostly sell at the same price, 160 bucks. So there is no need to buy the regular 1650, especially with the performance difference. So what does Nvidia do, or allegedly do, according to Momomo US on Twitter and a German retailer listing, Nvidia might be updating the 1650 with GDDR6. So the already pretty useless card becomes a tiny bit more useful, I guess? While it doesn't explicitly say that it's GDDR6 memory, Hey, Editing Snows here. While I was editing the video, it got confirmed. Nvidia gave the go-ahead to AIBs to release the 1650 with the four gigabyte of GDDR6. What is troubling is the fact that the only way to distinguish ASUS's model is by looking at the box. We'll have to wait for other AIBs, but yeah, it seems like it's gonna be more confusion for casual buyers who just wanna make their gaming PC work. It's pretty much the GT 1030 all over again, except at least now you can kind of game on either models. It looks like the new card might be priced similarly or slightly lower than the original. In my opinion, Nvidia should just drop the price of the 1650 with GDDR6. That way people would actually buy it. Then we have an announcement from, well, me. There isn't much news to talk about these days besides things getting canceled, so I thought that for the month of April, I would try something new. I would upload non-news related content. Editing Snows here, I just wanted to say that there would be news videos and non-news content, so just keep that in mind. It's not all gonna be brand new. I'm calling it Content Week, even though it's a month. So if you're not subbed, go ahead. And if you are subbed, be prepared for some videos that are more like the ones that I used to make on my personal channel. Side note, I'll be streaming there starting on the second week of April. Moving on, we got Microsoft, who is testing something pretty interesting in Chrome. I mean, Edge, which is based on the Chromium engine. So this new feature is called Vertical Tap. It does exactly what it sounds like. Now you might think that it's a little bit of a waste of space, but in my case, it would be super useful. I'm using a large 4K display, and this is what most websites look like to me. Yeah, I have tons of space on the left and right of my display. So to use that to see the tabs and their names instead of just the icons with one or two letters would be great. Problem is, it's just not useful enough for me to migrate everything from Chrome to Edge. There is a Chrome extension that can do that called Vertical Tabs, but it's wonky as hell when I use it and at 40 something tabs on multiple windows, it gets even wonkier. In the free game check, we got good guy Ubisoft running a month long campaign with free games, trials and discounts. Now, of course, you got to download the Uplay launcher if you didn't have it, but it's quarantine week or month or year. So right now we have a classic available Rayman Legends, which is free until April 3rd. As for Twitch, if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, you can get Turok, which has been remastered or upscaled depending on who you ask. I'm a yoink this one right now for the nostalgia. Etherborn, which is a beautiful puzzle game. Seriously, you gotta take a look at the trailer, it's amazing. There's also Earthlock, a nice RPG, and Light Matter, another absolutely stunning puzzle game. And Kathy Rain, a point and click adventure if you're into that stuff. So yeah, that's a lot of games if you wanna start a free trial for uh, Twitch Prime. In AMD news, well, it's not really AMD, but it's mostly of a laptop news. But anyways, you guys remember AMD's 65 watt eco mode that was introduced for their high end CPUs? Well, this is the first time it was used for a 3950X on a laptop. Yep, that's a 16 core CPU on a laptop. The company is called Schenker and the notebook is the SMG Apex 15. Now it is a thick boy, that's for sure. But compared to thick boys of days past and even present, 
that housed maybe a 9900K or the 9980HK, it's a pretty good accomplishment. Plus, I mean, yeah, the screen is nothing to brag about on that monster XMG. It's 1080p at 144Hz, but the price is relatively good for such a monster of a laptop at $2600. And there's more affordable versions anyways if that's your thing. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I mean I try, but I April Fools!